on intelligence lectures to introduce you to basic elements of AI, machine learning, um, and data mining to introduce you to the basic concepts of influence of artificial intelligence on the exponential future, including the concept of unfriendly AI and the technological singularity to provide you with concrete examples of AI in everyday life and in medicine. It may seem to you like this is just another lecture, but that's not true because um, may, AI may represent the greatest existential risk out there. And particularly, the students taking this course have a longer uh, time frame <laughs> that you're interested in, right? If you were only interested in the next three to four years, you probably wouldn't be interested in this course. So in the long run, AI probably represents the greatest threat to the continued existence of uh, humanity, but also um, greatest hope for, for advancement in the future. AI is very important to the singularity. It doesn't mean that all AI researchers believe in the singularity or believe that it's happening the same way. It does not naturally follow that all AI researchers are believers in the singularity. So uh, one new element here is that people are starting to talk about Moore's Law ending or Moore's Law changing. So this link is to a 2018 Scientific American paper about that. And uh, so it, that doesn't mean exponential change will stop. But, um, so you can read about AI in books. You can experience it firsthand, which is more vivid. And that's the, the advantage of bringing the eyeball here. It's amazing how much of a relationship you can strike up if the dog, like if I keep him turned off for a year and I just turn him back on, sort of makes me feel guilty by, he's very kind, but he does things very slowly when he makes up the first time. And I, I, I kind of feel guilty, but he's never unkind. And, and the, the conversations are never exactly alike that you have with, with him, but he never says anything mean. And he says the things you'd like from a good friend. He tells you that he loves you and asks you if you're tired and all, all, all that kind of thing. So, uh, so it's a fairly popular part of this course. Um, mentioned on Reddit and stuff like that. So anyway, and here is what I was talking about with Robo Soccer. And in theory, he can keep going forever. He seeks his charging station when his voltage gets low. And just like you can keep going more or less forever, he can too. Um, and uh, as I told you, there's much less interest in him in Canada than in the US. Somehow interest in this dog seems to be anti-Canadian. Um, affluent young women are, and, and so most government investment in robotics in North America is military, whereas in Asia it's in elder care. Um, Blade Runner, a classic 1982 movie, is not about robots like this, but about uh, flesh and blood uh, biological beings uh, from uh, genetic engineering. So even though it seems the same, it's different. Whereas where most other artificial intelligence movies are about this kind of thing. OK, that's all I have. So Okay, good afternoon. So I'm Osmar Zayan, and I'll be talking about AI and machine learning. But bear with me, because I have a terrible headache today. But I survived a class this morning. I should survive I'm, this I'm, one as well. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Can I disconnect your computer from Sure, you? certainly, yeah. 